on food, not phones, uh, a new survey that's come out, loneliness in America, how the pandemic has deepened an epidemic of loneliness and what we can do about it. Uh, the report suggests that 36% of all Americans, including 61% of young adults and 51% of mothers with young children, feel serious loneliness. That leads to depression, anxiety, heart disease, substance abuse, domestic abuse, all of those. And to be honest with you, um, in, in looking at this, I found um, an outreach that I wasn't familiar with. I don't know whether you are familiar with it or not, Sally, but it's called the Friendly Bench Program. And basically, they provide benches, outdoor seating areas that connect strangers with nature. You know, we really need to, as you know, we've talked about hundreds of times, we really need to put down our phones um, during mealtimes, connect with other people, and even beyond mealtimes, um, whether we attune with nature, attune with other people. But when we have these epidemics um, about loneliness, um, it's, it's a huge problem that we've got to figure out uh, before it's too late. Agreed, Phil. And I love the friendly bench idea that it, that's a great strategy to get people um, outside, connecting with new people. And like you said, connecting with nature. Um, you know, Forbes did a survey on New Year's resolutions for 2024. And um, 36% of people said that they want to focus on their mental health. In addition to that, 55% said that they connect their physical health with their mental health. So they want to work on all of that together. And I also found something great that I'll post in the comments for everyone here. Um, Dr. Omar Awan is a doctor who is a contributor to Forbes. And he talked a lot in his recent column about investing in relationships, spending more time interacting with people and reducing your screen time. And he has some really, really great suggestions. Um, one that's really easy is decrease your screen time by 30 minutes a day. Just start there and take that 30 minutes um, to have coffee with a friend um, or take a walk with a friend, but trying to get away from that screen and connect with your community, connect with other people. Faith, we want face-to-face -face interaction. Very important. Um, and, and especially in the times that we have now, uh, very turbulent times with wars, across the globe, uh, politics, you know, uh, making my my brain um, fried. Um, we really need to connect with other people, um, no question about it. And also, let's not forget, when you go to the supermarket, say hello to the cashier, say hello to Bob the butcher, uh, Betty the baker. Um, it's, it's a great source of companionship to, to really have your supermarket um, be part of your community. Um, we, we need to do that. So don't forget, sign up for the initiative Food Not Phones at food.phones.com. Use the hashtag Food Not Phones in social media. And let's, you know, as our New Year's resolution for 2024, all resolve to be nicer uh, to each other and more friendly and have better relationships. Be sure to visit supermarketguru.com for the latest marketing analysis, issues, and trends. And don't forget to join us back here next Tuesday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern for more.